thank you for joining me today. I'm John Murphy with Oracle and a product marketing organization. I'm very happy to be joined by Derek Giddos from our product strategy group. Derek's in charge of the logistics area for, for Oracle. Thanks for being here today, Derek. Oh, you're welcome, John. My pleasure. Great. So today we're just going to talk to Derek a little bit about Oracle's strategy around logistics and some of the trends he's seeing in the marketplace. So, you know, we're here at the Oracle Transportation Management SIG event, which is a user-run event that Oracle uh, sponsors each year for its Oracle community of transportation users. Uh, and Derek, being the strategy lead, what do you... Uh, what do you think about the event here, and what are some of the reasons why customers come to this event? Well, customers come to this event for you know a number of reasons. One, they, they come so they can learn from the experiences of other customers. They can hear about their projects, their you know the functional challenges they were looking to address, technical challenges, and of course, lessons learned and successes and you know key takeaways. Um, they also get to meet uh, all of our different partners, so they can learn about the different products and services that those partners offer and how that might apply to their business. Uh, and last, but certainly not least, they get a chance to meet with uh, folks like me and other people in our product development team, uh, hear updates on the product strategy, where the roadmap is going, uh, recent enhancements, uh, and probably the most popular one are the forums, where they get open Q&A with different experts from our product development uh, organization on different topics of interest. All right, great. So I was fortunate enough to attend one of the workshops, and one of the topics was around trends in the business and technology area. And uh, it was interesting to me to hear some of those trends. Obviously, in your position, you get to interact with a lot of companies. What are some of the business trends, technology trends you're seeing in the logistics realm? Okay. Well, from a business perspective, you know, the job of the transportation director really remains the same. Uh, he or she is tasked with, you know, maintaining or reducing transportation freight costs, delivering the same, you know, great level of service. What's changing around them, though, is their, their business environment. So whether that's omni-channel initiatives that they have, multi-channel initiatives, globalization of their supply chain. So the objective is the same. You know, I want to get my products delivered on time at the lowest possible cost, but it's these external factors that's making that particular task uh, more difficult for them. From a technology perspective, certainly the number one uh, uh, trend is the adoption of cloud-based applications. And so moving products to the cloud, like transportation management, you know, offers a real strong opportunity for these customers. Yeah, and that movement to the cloud, is that something that's restricted to companies of particular sizes or particular industries, or what, what are you seeing from that perspective? Well, interestingly, you know, you may think that it's really just for quote unquote smaller companies, but what we found is that the interest in the marketplace and the actual adoption really spans companies of all sizes. So we have some very large organizations and of course some medium or smaller sized organizations. It spans a lot of different industries and all the different regions of the world. It really boils down to the corporate culture and strategy that these organizations have relative to are they going to use cloud or not and more and more the answer is yes they are going to use cloud for supply chain and other parts of their business hmm. and that's interesting so uh, you know another aspect of cloud that you hear about often is the speed at which people can implement has that been something that you've seen to be you know factual that people can implement the products a lot faster or is that something that you've seen like the implementation isn't as fast as you might think I would say on average the implementations are faster from what we have seen because some of the uh, variables are reduced. So for example, the time it would take to buy new hardware, get it set up in your data center, establish connectivity, all of that goes away. So literally within a couple of hours we can have new customers environments up and ready and they can start their projects. Some other issues don't go away. Change management, uh, adopting different business functions, those still need to be addressed. So there's no magic button, uh, but in general the time to benefit, the time to start receiving a return on that investment is definitely shorter with cloud products. Yep, that's, that's interesting information and kind of as a wrap-up question, overall for supply chain, what's your view of the adoption of cloud and the movement towards cloud? Do you think for other areas of supply chain applications, cloud will be adopted at what rate? And just generally, what's your thoughts there? Well, depending on the product area, they are at different points in their life cycle. Some product areas like transportation management, uh, cloud-based deployments are now in the majority. So we have uh, at Oracle a cloud-first mentality around our transportation management applications. Some other areas, for example, like manufacturing, not uh, so prevalent. But whether, whether or not it is cloud today, it certainly will be cloud in the future. And that's why we're investing ahead of the curve and having an, uh, cloud applications across our entire footprint so that when customers are ready, uh, we're ready for them. 
Well, very good. Well, thank you very much for coming here and speaking to us today. It's been a pleasure, and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. You're welcome, John. My pleasure.